Hey, how you doing? This is the Nerdy Entrepreneur. We are back here on YouTube. Apologies for the uh, delays in posting videos, but uh, we were traveling and had to get some other things done. So anyway, we are back. And on this topic, we're going to talk about a $10,000 a month remote cleaning business. Some of the good, the bad, and the uglies. This might be a multiple, uh, multiple part series here because there's some quite a few things to talk about. And uh, one thing is, I do run a cleaning business. I've had videos. My most popular video is about me starting a cleaning business. So I'm talking from someone who has a place of experience. Okay. Uh, so hopefully that means something to you to help you if you are going to start your own remote cleaning service or you know you can relate because you're, you're running one now <laughs> either way do let me know what's going on with you down in the comments of the video if you run one if you're thinking about one you know let me know that kind of will inform some of the content i will make in the future about it okay uh what i want to talk about the the concept of this 10k a month cleaning business because there are people selling courses which they are and i have no problem with selling courses whatsoever i have absolutely no problem i've sold courses before but this idea that ten thousand dollars a month is this special number that will change your life and for some folks most folks in a cleaning business scenario it's probably not going to do much for your financial life because there's a difference between being able to take out ten thousand dollars and putting your pocket versus this is $10,000 that you have to divide between multiple people, multiple parties. And that's exactly what you will be doing with a $10,000 a month cleaning business. You will be paying out a lot of the people rather than paying yourself a good chunk of it because you have labor costs. If you're going by the remote model, most remote models deal with cleaners who are not uh, employees of that business they are contractors so you've negotiated some type of uh, pay for them and that's what you will be dealing with they're going to represent at minimum around about 50 percent of your actual revenue okay so that means at minimum of five thousand dollars a month will be going to paying your contractors your cleaners and it's going to be about that if you're doing the percentage model, like I do a percentage model of half, unless it's a really big clean, then it's a little bit more than that. But generally my percentage model is half the clean. There are people who charge hourly and I used to do that. And there's a pluses and minuses to that. Um, one is which people stealing time, which I made a video about that too in the, in the channel. And so I stick to around a, a percentage that works better for me. But you might be one who pays 60%. There are, you know, when you're doing this model, you could choose hourly. You have to deal with the stuff that goes with that. You can choose a percentage. You got to deal with the things that go with that. You know, it depends on what you want to do. How much of a percentage? Probably at least half it needs to go or else it won't be attractive to people. Or you could be doing 60% as well. So depending on how you intend to play, pay your cleaners will determine how much money you'll have left. So just keep that in mind. So in our $10,000 example, I have my uh, calculator phone here. So that's what I'm using in case. If you're gonna pay, let's say minimum half, there's something else that they don't tell you, you also have to pay. And that is the transaction fees for the business. In order for you to collect money and get that into your bank account, you need to use a payment processor and payment processors aren't free. Generally, a lot of us use Stripe because that integrates with some of the other tools we use. And their fees have increased over the last few months, right? But so what I tend to do, because I like nice round numbers and I have a little bit of cushion when I do, I save about 5%. So 55% of your actual revenue will need to be dedicated to labor and transaction fees however if you're giving people 60 percent then 65 percent will be labor and transaction fees depending on what model you're choosing to go with or what percentage breakdown you're choosing to go with 
So if you're doing 65%, that means instead of 40%, you'll have 35% really that you can play with. Instead of uh, 50%, you'll have, you'll, you'll be using 55%, you'll have 45% to play with. And since 10,000 is a nice, cool round number, you'll have anywhere from $4,500 to $3,500 that you will still need to pay people out of. So just to keep that clear. So we're already down. So let's do uh, the 45% because it's the bigger number. So that's $4,500. Guess what you got to pay? You got to pay for your operations. You got to pay for all those tools you use in order to get here. Your CRM, you know, your hosting bills, your phone system, uh, your Indeed bill if you're hiring from Indeed, uh, the background check software, which increased, I think it's like $30, $35 for a background check to process. So you have uh, also your insurance and your advertising. So you got all these bills that you need to cover. So let's say we're in a growth mind set and we've hired a bunch of cleaners on top of all our regular operational expenses. So let's say that could be about $750 for the month. Subtract that from the $4,500. You have $3,750 left, $3,750. You're like, oh, that ain't that bad. But we have to pay for advertising. And I don't know what channel you want to go through. You want to go through, um, you know, Facebook ads if you want to do that. If you want to do Google look service ads, if you want to Google people, uh, PPC you know, or Angie list, whoever you want to go with, pick a channel, hopefully a channel that works. And that's what you're doing. I'm going to just say Google local service ads. It could be Google PPC. That's working for you. This is a Google local service. That's easy for me. Um, now remember we hired a bunch of people. We got to fill their schedules. So we want to make sure that we have a okay or healthy ad budget. So you figure, okay, I need to do at least $2,000 a month in whatever ad channel that you're using. So let's say you spent $2,000. Now we have $1,750. And that seems like, well, no, that ain't too horrible. Now the question is, are you answering the phone? Are you going through all the interviews? Are you answering customer complaints during your week all day? Or do you need someone to help you? Do you have a VA? Do you have a full-time VA? You have a part-time VA. Well, let's do this model with a full-time VA. Now, you can get that person from the Philippines. You get that person from somewhere in Latin America where they speak English and Spanish. And they're usually, you know, they're near shore. So let's say you get someone who is spending $1,200 a month to have them full-time so that you don't have to be on the phones. Okay. If you do that, you'll have $550 left. Okay. That's how much you will have left in your business. So we went from 10,000 in revenue to $550 by the time we get through it all. That's what you're left with. And that's assuming that 55% is labor and transaction fees. You'll have 45% to left. That's assuming that you've hired new cleaners and covered all your operational fees, plus spent $2,000 in an advertising channel and are spending money on a VA who's handling most of the stuff so that you're not stuck in the weeds of this and that you'll have about $550 left somewhere around there, maybe a little less, depending if you have a couple of extra things to pay. Other than that, it'll be around $500. That's your $10,000 a month remote cleaning business. Does that sound attractive to you? Does it? Now this could be way worse. If we applied this to a $3,500 model, 750 operational expenses, background checks, most of your tools. $1,200 VA. There you go. We have $1,550 left. We still got to pay for ads. 
Now you don't have two thousand dollars to spend on advertising, but you know you need to spend money, a chunk of money on advertising, depending on your area. Let's say you spend another twelve hundred dollars in advertising. It doesn't leave you with much. Really, you need to spend fifteen. So at least with fifty bucks in your pocket, and that's with you having a margin of thirty-five percent from that ten thousand. So either you have around forty-five percent or thirty-five percent. One gives you a couple of hundred dollars left over, about five hundred, maybe a little less if I'm missing a thing, and the other one gives you about maybe fifty bucks in your pocket, maybe a little bit more. Depends on what you want to dump into advertising. But here's the thing with that model. You have to spend the money on advertising. You have to get enough because you're hiring more. You're going to lose cleaners, okay? You're going to lose cleaners. You now that's common in this business that people lose cleaners all the time. We're always hiring for cleaners, and if you have cleaners, you got to fill up their schedule as quickly as possible. Which is why in the cleaning business model, whether you're remote or not, it is imperative for all of us to get recurring. Customers. That is the thing that saves us. That is the thing that allows us to have money compound. So that's an important factor in the cleaning business model is recurring clients. But with all these people talking about a ten thousand dollar a month cleaning business in a few months, sure, and it could be very fruitful for you. But if you stay there, you know it's not going to make much sense. Like I said, if you're trying to get a thousand dollars out this thing, you ain't getting it with a ten thousand dollar a month cleaning business for the most part. You know, unless you cut back on advertising, uh, unless you know you don't hire as much, so you're not intending to really grow much. You know, you can have a few hundred dollars. You know, or you decide you know not to have a VA, so you answer most of the calls, or maybe make the VA just part time. That's what you're around. What you're looking at, if we're talking about numbers. Now, I'll make plenty more videos talking about this because the concept of oh, start a remote cleaning business and make ten thousand dollars a month. You're not really making ten thousand dollars a month. Not with the things you have to pay for. A healthier number would be if you consistently get it to fifteen k a month. Will actually be better. Now, with that being said, before we end this video for today. If you are growing your recurring customer base, then a ten thousand dollar a month cleaning business and revenue could be helpful if you can maintain your cost. But things happen; cleaners don't do their job. You have to pay for things that get broken. You have to you have to pay for more background checks. The fees around you increase. Things happen. But the thing they should be emphasizing is getting recurring clients. Really. Keeping your customers happy to continue to pay for your service, so that every month, and if you have compounding things left over, that allow you more budget, that allow you to spend more money in advertising, that allow you to have more money that you could potentially take out and pay for yourself if you're going to stay with that model. But typically, you don't want to stay your business at ten thousand dollars a month uh, as a remote cleaning service. With the intention of growing, aka you're spending money on ads to grow, you know, unless you're only looking for maybe a thousand dollars eventually. But for most of you, you're probably looking for a little bit more than that. And while yes, you can make a thousand dollars a month in the cleaning business eventually at 10k, if if you're not intending really to grow, if you're only like, okay, I don't need to spend twelve hundred dollars on Facebook ads, I don't need to hire five cleaners a month, I only need to hire two, and I only need to spend maybe. Six to eight hundred Facebook uh, Facebook ads, or I only need to spend six six to eight hundred on any type of ad platform because I only want to grow slow. Then eventually you'll get there where you could take a thousand dollars out of your business, assuming you're doing that, assuming that's atten- your intention, assuming that you're keeping more customers than you're losing every month. But that's a lot of assumptions. But anyway, until the next time, I'm gonna wrap this up here. I am the nerdy entrepreneur. I just wanted to bring some truth about a 10k a month remote cleaning business to you so that if you decide you want to do it great do it just understand what the numbers could potentially look like whether it's a 45% uh cut after or 35% cut what that actually looks like which is typical for a remote cleaning business in the actual uh first place and i know that's 
and unfortunately that's not very um attractive for most people who want to start but this is the case so that you know while you go into it and yes it could be a beautiful opportunity you can do what you want eventually after you go through the trials but that's what every business no matter what it is whether it's a cleaning business a window washing business whether it's selling online courses or or helping other people advertise their business to make money you'll go your trials but until next time here's one thing i would love you people to do and i know you see it in the little banner right here i would love to know your thoughts on this comment on the video let me know what your thoughts and also make sure to subscribe subscribe to the nerdy entrepreneur channel where i talk about all things business from a nerd perspective to help more folks like you get into business whether it's going to be a side hustle or full-time thing so we can do more of the things that we love which is uh buy legos play video games can't do that without the money and the money uh, we get through it for us it's for our business or get out of a terrible work environment that does not support the healthy lifestyle of an adult nerd until next time please make sure you subscribe 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 and make sure you ring the alert bell so that you know the next time i am on subscribe to nerdy entrepreneur until next time see you guys later